Last time on Redux. So I'm getting further away from being like anything of a relation with Skyla. Because I think the only thing worse than being like, well, not worse, I'm, I'm, I'm being facetious. It's good to be friends even if you're of the opposite sex, as long as you don't have an interest in them like romantically or the other thing, which I won't say on YouTube, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but like being wingman. Like, like, now you're on the further side of just, like, I'm literally helping you date other people. No. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Redux with your host, Rinky, a.k.a. Cheeto. That's me. And we're another part of Pokemon Academy Life Forever. Because it's forever. Forever. Mmm. But, yes, this... this begin this because there's no sound <laughs> coming up. Don't know why you're asking me. I'm not her damn keeper. Look, we both her classmates, um, both, both her classmate blue. The idea of Pokemon being a Pokemon trainer, it's ridiculous. Yeah, sure. It's a gross abomination against morality or whatever. I just asking if you've seen her. And I already told you no. What do you think I've captured her or something? Would you try to if you had the chance? You said you would. Oh my god, when I said that I was joking. Why do people always take your jokes in the best possible light? But m the moment I try to be funny, I've crossed the line. Maybe because you're because my jokes don't put people down. They just put myself up. Well, I got an idea where you can put up your... Hey, guys. <laughs> Hi, Erin. How are you doing? I don't know why there's no sound. All right. Sounds like you two are talking... All right. Sounds like you two are talking about Tia. Yeah, like your pet fell the... Uh, pet fell the coop. Oh, my God. That's not surprised after she... I had to carry your fat ass for a whole day. It was 16 hours, and once again, I have no body image issues. You're beating against the wall here. Who said I was talking about you? Smell ya. Oh! Did, did he just say I got a fat ass? I wouldn't take it personally. I kind of... It's kind of how he said hello. That punk. I can't believe I was starting to think he was... He wasn't completely awful. Yeah, that's not... That's how he gets you. Whatever. Hey, if you if you see Tia, let, let me know, okay? I haven't been able to track her down since Wednesday. I could have literally talked to her yesterday. I'm a little worried. A bit worried someone might have seen her while we were flying in. What, do you think someone might have captured her? No, 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 I'm sure that's not it. She's crazy powerful, you know. Still, someone could capture her. There's crazy inventions. Watch any of the Pokemon movies. I mean, I think. I've never seen her in her battle, but it seems like she really wanted to be a, a be at Kabuken. And just blowing off the quarter clashes like this is weird. Come to think of it, Sabrina hasn't been around lately either. S Sabrina? Oh, that girl. Oh, the girl, those two assholes. Yeah, that one. I don't know about her. I, I, I think she's been gone ever since Saturday, actually. Damn. Guess I won't be seeing her in the future of QQs, then. Well, just, just keep an eye out. Of course, got plans for today? Are you inviting me somewhere? Well, we've got a date to go on, don't we? Wait. That's still on? Um, if you want it to be. Oh, I, I just thought because of, you know, everything. I'm really glad to hear you still want to do that, though. Of course. I'm guessing you got all the plans for today, though? A little bit, yeah, sorry about that. It's cool. You're worth the wait. Wow, smooth operator. What? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Bust down lines like that. Turn on the charm, my lady. Did it work? Yeah, it totally did. Right up until you called me my lady. 
And now I don't think I'm physically capable of ever finding you attractive again. Damn. Oh well, my identical twin will take pity on you. Identical twin? Huh? Say, could you and your twin... La, 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 la. I'm not letting you finish that low. <laughs> That's funny. They're, they're funny. Oh, she's not there anymore. Oh, so I was kidding myself when I said that. Okay. So we do have Pokemon that needs to level to ups. Uh, oh, their cap is still low. Well, I could always do... Um, some kind of research and then do that. Oh, but we got level twos and stuff to do. Well, Hilda's probably going back down. Makes sense. Hmm. Well, Rose is not with anybody, supposedly. Okay, I gotta know what the whole thing about Janine and that is. I, I, I got to. I, I, I'm like, why are they like both up there? Like, what the heck could Janine need for me? Let me see. Check levels. Hmm. Oh, you want to check in? You should have a team of level sixteen Pokemon. Highest level Pokemon is the 17. You're good. It's for the oh god, I need, I really need to level up my Pokemon then. Which should not be this low. Oh, they have the experience for level 16. Well, the, uh, this one doesn't. Uh, can rare candies push past? No, they can't. I already tried that. Uh, I could. Daddy. Yeah, let me let me see what I can do here. Looks like Blue's in the library right now. Should I stay with him? Yeah, sure. Spend some time studying Dragon type Pokemon with Blue. Why? You drag? Okay. I'm very surprised by that actually. Okay. Well, I could find Janine or find Blue. I guess I should actually find Blue and see what happens from this. You want to find Blue? Yeah, let's go looking for my friend. Not really. You're heading out to the fields to train when suddenly you see a spiky brown bush over the, over the nearest hill. Approaching closer... You real recognize the person attached to that bottom of the bottom of it. Ah, oh, great. Maybe I can try to just turn around and actually maybe I should talk to Blue for a bit. I don't like him, but since we're roommates now, I could try a bit harder to get along with him. And I guess I kind of owe him for delaying the first quarter clash round. Yeah, I know you owe him a lot. Well, here goes nothing. Hey, Blue. Oh, it's you. What do you want? A thousand dollars would be a good start. You have enough damn handouts. Ooh, what do you mean? What do you mean, what do you mean? Don't play dumb. Believe me, I'm not playing. You you only got into the school because Gramps wanted you. It's only it's the only thing that makes sense. I know you didn't have the grades or the battling ability to get in any <laughs> to get in any other way. He's not exactly wrong. And you gotta put in the homeroom class of the teacher that bent the rules to get you in, in here in the first place. You got exactly the starter you wanted. And the damn battle team tryouts were rigged in your favor. Everyone just gives you things. You haven't earned a single thing in your life. You know, that's not my fault. It's Frenergy. I only learned it recently. Yeah, but don't but you didn't go out of your way to let everyone know after you learned about it, did you? You're perfectly happy just sitting back and picking up all those unearned benefits. Well, what do you want me to do?
turn them down? Say no? Uh, yeah. Oh, God. What do you not realize... What? Do you, did you not realize you could do that? I'm not going to turn down other people's kindness just to make you feel like your situation is more fair. Of course you're not. Because you don't give a damn about what's fair or not, do you? Blue, we're equal. I don't think I'm better than you. Don't you dare say we're equals. I train harder. I study harder. I battle harder. You're just... You just coast along on other losers' handouts, and then that and that means that I'm better than you. So uh, that's not true, Blue. But whatever. Some other thing that's been bugging me. That goddamn nickname you called me. I can't believe you bought brought it back up. My name is Blue. Blue Oak. His name is Gary, but I love Blue. Emphasis on the Blue. Did emphasize. De-emphasize the Oak. Oh, okay. You ran any possibility I had of friends in Peloton with everyone calling me Edge all the time. Because of because of course they would follow the leader and just copy whatever you're doing. I ruined your friends. You ruined mine. I went four years in high school without anyone even wanting to look at me. Yeah, and I thought maybe you'll learn your lesson then. What fucking lesson? Oh shit, okay. That you can't push me around forever. My god, this is ridiculous. I was not the bully. I did not push you around. Oh yeah? Well, whenever I was trying to get Graham's attention, you always dared to get in my way. He was like the only adult in Pallet Town I knew personally. I was a literal child. You, that that is a evil that is the evil thing about being like kids and growing up is that you would blame a child for being like you would be like, oh well, my my parent took, or whoever f authority figure took more time into this person. I'm gonna blame that person, and it's like, no, no, you're both children. Like that kid has no say of what the adult does unless he was that kind of kid, which I don't think Red was like like bratty child. Was like I need attention. You must have attention to me, or I am going to scream and have a temper tantrum. <laughs> it was funny if he was. I was a little child. It was his response to make sure he was paying attention to you. Ha! So you admit that Gramps ignored me. Yeah, of course he did. And that was super unfair. But that wasn't my fault, and we're both adults now, so we need to just get over it. Oh sure, you just wanted me to forget the years of being shoved onto, into the shadows when everyone's... Oh. Okay. That's <laughs> a dick! Yeah, no, I don't think I'm going to be getting over that anytime soon. Why don't you get over losing all your friends and blaming me for it, huh? <sighs> this is a waste of time. What are you even doing out here? What do you think, picking daisies? I'm training, obviously. Aren't the Pokemon here at way too low a level for you? Typically, you say something like that. Dials then max rebels right now. Ooh, I remember doing that. And what that means, only the strongest Pokemon make their way out here. Pokemon at my level. Give a quick sniff. It does seem vaguely of Haxorus body spray. Sparky on her shoulders, holding his nose with two paws. Yeah, okay, I guess that makes sense. I guess the only reason you don't already have a level 100 Pidgeot is because you couldn't get Max Rebels back in Palita. <sighs> Could have had them delivered if I had m any pocket money, but Gramps didn't give Sis and I a allowance, and he only barely remembers holidays. When I, when I at least had an excuse to ask him for money, and then like you, I had some goddamn pride, so I wasn't all about to beg Daisy for money from her job in Viridian. You know, Sis and I were snowed in one day. We literally couldn't get out of the front door. We had barely any food in the house. The phone lines weren't working. We, d we didn't have mobiles. Gramps was still in, the t in his damn lab, working through the night. Yeah, I do remember that. Remember when, when it was... Remember when it was, too? Snow day... F snowfall day, right? December 25th? Yeah, at least you remember that. Yeah, snowfall day. 
while every other kid was out uh, was opening presents. Oh, they can't say Christmas. <laughs> okay, I guess you want to call it that. I roasted chestnuts on the fire. <laughs> this is Christmas, man. Daisy and I were shivering in our house, starving, trying not to freeze to death. Do you remember what happened around noon, though? Spike and I finally dug through the pile of snow until we got to your window. You scratched the glass. You opened the window and came into your house, and I bought a bag of chestnuts. Then Sparky used his electricity to start a fire. We all had an a awesome snowfall day. Y yeah, well, what happened? We were friends then, Blue. Worry? Yes. Blue, for energy aside, we were friends, always. <sighs> Easy for you to say. Whatever, I'm busy. If you're not <laughs> aren't here to help me out, then you could just get lost. Help you out. Train, dumbass. You're a loser, but at least you know how to battle. Thanks for the show of support. Well, are we training or not? Just be straight with me. When you're asking me to train like this, you realize you're asking me to stick around, right? You're asking me to spend time with you. You're aware of that, right? <laughs> you wish. I'm offering my time to you because it's... <laughs> oh my god! Just admit you like me! Just do it! You son of a... <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> I was like, no, I'm just using you because you're a good trainer. I'm like, bro, I don't care if you needed... If you, like, unless it became something of survival, people don't tend to hang out with people they don't want to hang out with. <laughs> that my rival be lagging so far behind all the time. Oh, we're rivals. Okay, yeah, okay, whatever, let's do this. You and Blue train intensely for a couple of hours. Yam, Yam gains 81 experience. It's stored, stored. Oh, yeah, baby. That actually got me to level up. Because of Hiru. Which I love because... Apparently Hiru is heel in Japanese. So I just like, oh, hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> which is funny because it's just one letter away from... Uh, well, actually, no, it's two letters away from Hiro. Into a turtle cat. Okay. Nice. Nice. Wants to learn bite, but already knows four moves. Well, we can take away any of these moves. What is a screech fudge out there? I like power, baby. And that's a coup. Can learn headbutt. Mmm. Well, probably should just take away... Yeah. Just take away Tackle, because Tackle sucks. Damn! I literally leveled up. Ha! Did you see that? My Pidgeotto... Pidgeotto totally... I love Pidgeotto. <laughs> it's a cool design. Damn, we were both training pretty much the same way, but... I can tell that Blue's Pokemon pull way to head. Well, it's no surprise you've been training that Pidgey ever since we were kids. What? Remember when we got our starters? Yeah, I got Sparky and he... That's when I realized that life wasn't fair. That's when I realized that I had to fight harder than anyone else to get what I deserve. Huh? What do you mean? Well, you, re well, you really never put two and two together. God, you really are slow. Enlighten me. Oh, wise one of Fondo. <laughs> no, which I love this. Listen up, Blockhead. My grandpa gave you a Pikachu, which is a rare electric type, going to be captured in Viridian Forest. And he gave me a Pidgey, which is a dirt common fly. It's a pigeon. <laughs> type you can catch by taking a couple steps outside of the pallet fence. Oh. Oh. Even ignoring the weird form your Pikachu got, you always have the advantage you... You thought you were making some sort of statement by using a Pikachu on the battle team. I'll be lucky to have a Pikachu. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry, man. I 
What? <sighs> Just said I was sorry about, well, about how your grandpa treats you. Regardless of how he brought it upon himself, Professor Oak has had a responsibility to be the adult in the room. Don't say that. Don't apologize for other people, dumbass. What? Okay, fine. I take it back. Grandma has a lot to apologize for. You do too. But neither of you are getting off by apologizing for what someone else did. To be, like... I, I love the hate... Like, he's so, like, earnest and it annoys me. <laughs> okay, this is going to be dumb, but what do I have to apologize for? It's not by apologizing for coming up with the dumb, with that dumbass nickname and bringing it back to Kabukin. You know what? All right, fine. I'll do that. Yeah, I knew you would. Wait, what? I'm sorry for calling you names when I was, like, seven. And I'm sorry for bringing it up ba back, back up here. That was childish. You don't mean that. Oh my god, Blue, why are you so stubborn? You're determined to never be happy? It's not my fault that everyone who should be on my side thinks kicking me down is the greatest thing since sliced bread. What? My own grandpa, my own living adult relatives, spent more time in his lab than he did with you. Oh god. And more time with you than he did with me. Because he had to get a job at 14 just to support us. Passing out free potion samples to random people who walked in and out of town. And then my so-called best friend decided that gathering the world's biggest friend group was more important than seeing if I was doing okay. Blue, I was 14. I know a way of knowing if you were doing okay unless you told me. And you just got angry. If you weren't terrified of showing even a tiny bit of vulnerability to your friend, then maybe I could have helped you. Ooh, truth, truth, whatever. Waste enough time here. Come, come on. Blue, what? Do you want to be friends again? We can make it happen. It's that easy. Oh, we'll shove off. I can tell he's hurt. He doesn't want to be friends again. Oh, and he does want to be friends again. I'm sorry, <laughs> but he's not willing to open the door even to Centimina. Done everything I can, right? I mean, all the stuff he's blaming me for. None of it really is my fault, right? Oh, he came back. Blue? You're a second-rate trainer, and I've never been cut... I'll never be caught dead being friends with you ever again, but since we're roommates, they'll probably learn to tolerate you. Hmm? I was serious when I said I missed my favorite stooge while I was taking my... while I was taking my place amongst the champions of the world. Even if you... Even if, ah, even if you had even one skill, it's that you're a good listener. And God knows how you, you, you like to talk. And for some reason, when I tell people I'm the best trainer in Kabuki, no one takes me seriously. Our roommates and Janine might be the only, only people in the whole school who actually gets it. And for you, it's just because I keep beating your ass. I'm honored. So yeah, if you want to just hang out around me and listen to me talk about how great I am, then I won't kick you away. Maybe you'll actually learn something. Maybe I will. <laughs> oh, I'm a listener now. Oh my god. <laughs> so stupid. Blue's nature shifts from distant to moody. Hanging out with Blue would not convey of experience to flying and dragon types. Pokemon in your party. The amount will grow the more points you have a blue. That's a that's a that's a good one. Do I ri do I want to know what is wrong with Janine? Her thing does Garusha also is probably interesting. I oh I actually don't need a level anymore. And not as much. What's well, even, so if I don't do it now. Well, this said 16. So I do need to still level these guys up. Which means I need to level up their cap. Because I already have them level. Yeah, just go for it. Oh. We'll see. We'll see at least what, what is going on. You want to find Janine? 
Let's go look at her. Oh. Wait, isn't that... You come... You're coming with me. So I am. Can you just nijutsu me over there? Or is that a one person kind of thing? Hmm. How much do you weigh? Uh, about 185, I think. Right. Can you compress yourself in, into a three foot cube? And no. And I guess we're walking. Hop to it. Sure thing. So what's your goal? Why are you here in the battle team? Huh? This isn't where I thought this was going. Change your change your thoughts. That's where it's going now. Well, I mean, I'm kind of in the battle team because you opened the door so wide for me, and smacked a bunch of other people on the on the way. Funny, yeah, I, I know. Why I wanted you in the battle team, but why you joined? I want to be a Pokemon champion of Kyoto. Any region, Kyoto's my home, so that'll be really cool, but. As long as I am a champion, I'll be happy. Alright. Thanks. You can go now if you want. Really? You brought me all the way out here just to ask me one question? I asked Dawn what she wanted before forcing her into, into the team, and you wouldn't have been matched up against her. That was a dumb move of me. I really, uh, really screwed up there. Hey, you can't beat yourself up f over that forever. I know you want perfection, but... I don't want perfection. I need it. And now it's permanently untainable. Well, I'd like to say thanks for sticking up for me when all the stuff about my power came, down came out. Also, I probably never would have been able to make that speech if you hadn't uh, kind of pushed me into it. It's fine. I mean, I made a big mistake with Don. Two big mistakes. Forcing her into the team, then letting you two get matched up. I didn't want to make another. Actually, it was good that we got that fight in, man. If it didn't happen, I wouldn't have a crazy Pikachu right now. Or wouldn't have pushed me to get a crazy... Like, because Pikachu probably would be Pikachu because he ate the, 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 the meteorite. Got time. Why don't you ask me a couple of questions? Me a couple of questions, and we'll do so in the next episode. Like, comment, and subscribe as we keep on bringing out episodes every single day, unless something weird happens. I do have a Twitter. It's at Cheetor. It's gonna be in the description. I don't know why I always say it, but <laughs> I do it anyway. Uh, you can also hit that bell icon so you can be notified anytime I post videos or when I post them because they come every they come every day, but they come weird times. I'm trying to get better with that. But anyway, that everything else, BFN, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Woohoo!